Hello everybody, uh, this is Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. In one of the previous videos, uh, Amy has demo demonstrated the traditional way of making ink for Chinese calligraphy and the painting with uh, ink stone and ink stick. We have here a group of uh, different ink stones. Uh, the large one comes with a wood lid, wooden lid. You can see the inside is called the Duan stone. Uh, it's a, the most expensive amount of ink stones um, with the beautiful carvings like that. It can cost the thousands of uh, yuanmingbi um, these days. And uh, on the, behind this, you can see the square one. The square ink stone is my first ink stone I got in high school, uh, in middle school, 35 years ago. And uh, this stone only cost my father a quarter US, US dollar, a quarter um, to buy. In our RMB it's uh, about two yen at that time. So 35 years ago, I still use using that. And uh, the round stone is what uh, Amy is using. Um, now, after we post the video on making Chinese ink uh, on YouTube, we got some questions from uh, viewers. Uh, questions like, uh, can you use uh, the remaining ink or leftover ink on uh, the ink stone? Um, the answer to this question is uh, yes or no. Yes, you can store the leftover in ink on your ink stone by adding some clean water to it. Just like this. And then, uh, and then put the lid on it. For overnight, so it won't dry up. It should be noted that you need an ink stone with a stone lid rather than the wooden lid. The wooden lid can only serve to prevent dust, but not to keep the moist and wet um, like a, a stone lid will. The next day, you can grind the diluted ink again or just use the gray ink to write or draw. The overnight ink, known as uh, su mo in Chinese, has its own characteristics. Because the glue medium and the ink particles tend to separate on the rice paper and will create broader watermarks and a nice pastel effect in the strokes. And we will ask it Amy to demo it later. And also the color of the sumo or overnight ink is less shiny than the newly grind ink. And that could be a good thing for certain styles or um, subject matters depending on your preference. So the tip is um, use more moisture with the leftover ink to make it look more fresh, or fresher. If you do not add water to the ink stone to maintain the freshness, it will turn into dirty dry ink and it will not be easily revived after it dries. Now, um, another question, is, can I keep the leftover ink for more than one or two days? Our answer is uh, no. I would not use any ink that is older than two days. If you are not planning to use the leftover ink within the next two days, you'd better clean the ink stone right away or add lots of water and clean it as soon as possible. Please do not leave any left in leftover ink on the ink stone for more than two days. The, now the last question, how should I clean the ink stone? 
The answer is I really don't know there is a right or wrong way, but uh, I won't use any strong uh, soap or detergent uh, to clean it. You don't need because the ink is water-based. All you need is an old toothbrush to help clean um, the remaining ink in running water. Now we are going to see how Amy using the leftover ink to paint. We have the, some remaining ink from yesterday and uh, uh, we added the water to keep it fresh. Now um, we load the brush with uh, overnight ink or so more and see how it performs on rice paper. The rice paper has the wrong side and the, uh, the front side. The correct side is the smooth side up. The wrong side is coarser than the smooth side. Amy is doing a little chicken. It's a Easter time. It's very seasonal to do the spring. Yeah. It's a very uh, good subject matter to start with for beginners, by the way. Amy has learned how to do a little chicken as young as uh, seven years old. You can see the water mark between the strokes and then with the overnight ink this effect is even stronger. It, if, uh, the water mark tends to be more obvious with the overnight ink. A little wing. It's so wet in wet, so the blurry effect uh, shows the feather well. You can see the water tend to bleed and the ink stays in a stroke. That's the characteristic of uh, overnight ink. By the way, there's another ink, uh, trick I'd like to share with you. If the ink has too much uh, particles, um, especially the chemical ink from bottle. After it dries, it normally cannot be revived with only water. So you need to add glue water to it uh, as a medium to hold the ink together, the overnight ink together. Normally we won't use any overnight uh, ink from bottle. And here comes the feet. Isn't that cute? These two are sitting on the grass along. So you won't see the, really see the feet. Look at that feather. <laughs> 